see the action I'm doing with the rod, just kind of nice little flick of the rod tip here with this dynamic 31 inch, really gets that trout attack moving. I don't have any bait on there. I just have some Mac attack scent and just ripping it. You can see I'm in nine feet of water. You can see I'm ripping it about two to three feet off the bottom. Uh, it seems to be where a lot of these large fish have been coming. I got my bigger tube down there. Missed about a 10 pounder on it earlier. Looked down the hole and he's there shaking my tube. But uh, for those of you guys wondering how to use the trout attack, this is a very good demonstration here of how that tail, as it goes down, just creates all kinds of action. Fish on, boys. Oh, that's a big brookie, big brookie. Ooh wee, I thought that was a cutthroat. Look at that brook. Take a peek at that beautiful brook trout. On the trout attack, you guys saw me just came in there. In and out, guys. Look at that beautiful brook trout. Back she goes, maybe. doesn't know where to go. There she goes, finally. There's the trout attack. You can see him just kind of aggressively popping it. Letting it go down, you can see that tail move on it. Look at this, guys. Nice, beautiful cutthroat on the trout attack. Gorgeous fish. Look at that. Nice fish, nice 23, three inch cut bow, cutthroat, sorry. On the trout attack, gorgeous fish. That with a big fish here on the trout attack. He just came and annihilated this thing. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, he feels big. Big fish.
<laughs> Look at that. That's a 10 inch hole. Look at the girth of that thing. There she goes.